Bharatanatyam dancers are something of a rarity even in India. The struggle for recognition that male dancers face forms the point of departure for a highly acclaimed play titled Dance Like a Man, which was staged in Josie recently as a part of the Shared History Festival. Works by Indian playwrights aren't seen very often on the Johannesburg stage, so theatregoers made the most of the opportunity to enjoy a production that has been performed in a number of cities in India as well as having had successful runs in London and New York. Written by the acclaimed dramatist Mahesh Dathani, Dance Like a Man has a plot spanning three generations, with the actors playing multiple roles, portraying the younger and older personas of individual characters. This production was directed by Lilette Dubé, who is also a member of the cast. Dance Like a Man, it's set in the world of Indian classical dance. So there's a lot of humour in the play. It's dramatic, it's, it's emotional, it's very powerful in bits, it's also very funny. So it's a lovely combination. I mean, that's why I think it's so popular. So, uh, this is where I get killed, huh? Acclaimed Indian actor Joy Sengupta plays the roles of a son and his father's younger self. Dance Like a Man shifts from 1950s India to 1990s India. 1950s India was the immediate post-colonial India and it also catches the 1990s India where we have attained independence for 60 years and what has happened to our country. Joy's female counterparts are played by the renowned Sushitra Pillai. I don't think it's difficult at all for anybody anywhere in the world to kind of relate to this play. So the crux of the play is human emotion. A lot of things, of all the characters, you will easily relate to them. Things that would happen in any family. It's skeletons in the closet that come out and with any uh, pair of ambitious parents who want to live their unfulfilled life through their daughter, you know, you would see that in, in any society anywhere in the world. This is terrible. What are we going to do? No use worrying. This has never happened before in all my life. You know, I love it because there's something there that I, I don't feel but I quite get that a mother can be very proud of her daughter but she was a wonderful artist once and now you know, everybody's eyes are like just sweeping off her and going to this young one who's the new model, who's the one who's going to like shine now. And it hurts, somewhere it hurts. The star of the festival, the dancer of the decade. <coughs> what should she get to use like this? After all my efforts, spending sleepless nights, arranging things, sweet talking those critics. I have been playing two characters, the daughter who's called Lata, who's the younger generation, and I play my mother when she was younger, so that's Ratna. For an actor, it's very, very interesting because I have to emulate what uh, the other actress, Lilette Dubé, would have been like when she was younger. I haven't done anything wrong to spoil our family name. Yes, but you know how people are always assuming the worst. The father's character is, for me, the challenging one because there's a lot of incomprehension in what he's dealing with. I say, if you promise with me not to visit with that woman, He's dealing with a son who, uh, from the community that he comes with, uh, it's unheard of to go and become a dancer. Papu, tomorrow, Jaira starts learning a new dance class, Kuchipudi. So? In Kuchipudi Babo, the men dress up as women to restrict my movements. <laughs> he loves his son. But he just can't comprehend why he's doing this and what he's doing it for. No longer under your charge. It will never be again. Never! Jay! Jay, Dad! One of the characters that I play belongs to the 1990s of Indian milieu. He's a sort of a uh, new money and uh, he's culturally semi-literate. He wants to marry into culture. So he's in love with this dancer girl. The second character that I play is the actual 
protagonist of the play, which is the dancer. Okay, I'll do something useful before it's too late. Do something useful to you, you mean? Do something. Do anything but stop this mockery. Do anything except be a dancer. He's a character who has been a dancer in 1950s India. There was a lot of uh, prejudices against those who went up on stage and perform because the people, middle class people thought that was not the most important thing to do at the moment. So he fights against the, the social grain and fights against the prejudices to claim his name. I refuse to dance, turning down invitation because I didn't want to dance alone. This play, although in its foreground has two conflicts, there's a father-son conflict and a husband-wife conflict. In the background of all this conflict lies two vital questions. One is the question of political freedom versus personal freedom. And the second question, is there something called a male culture or is there something called a female culture? Or does culture transcend all these barriers? The circumstances that we're dealing with here are part and parcel of the play's action, actually. This is the story of modern India, in fact. What is interesting is what is explored in the play, aside from the very simple linear plot. It is about all younger people who want to do things which are alternative, which are not what their parents want them to do, which are not the correct or the more regular professions which they should be following. Right now it's about dance, of course, in this particular play, but it could be about anything. <laughs> Tonight's performance has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, Lilith, I've, I've known her plays for many, many years, and she always comes, I think it's only about the second time we're privileged to see her in South Africa. But she's so good at what she does, not just as an actor, but also as a playwright and so on, and, and a director as such. Uh, I, I think it's great stuff tonight. Delicate and powerful performance. The theme of the show was so universal, the theme of family and the theme of regret and pain and shame and blame and all of that. I think everyone can relate to it.